go, 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 go. To undertake a 48-hour killing spree throughout Caracas with 20 intended victims. These were the shocking intentions of right-wing extremist Lorenz Salem, confirmed in the latest video footage released by the Venezuelan government. This isn't just something which is happening now. This is a plan which has been developed over a long period of time against Venezuela and which involves aimed at insurrection, but also terrorist acts in which we can include selected murders. This is the fourth video to be released of right-wing extremist Salen, the principal figure of a terrorist network recently exposed by the Venezuelan government. The latest footage provides further evidence that Salen's group was being trained by former police and paramilitaries in Colombia. We have training camps, instructors who aren't exactly children. They're guys who have been fighting against the guerrillas. We've got them on side and they don't charge us. Colombian armed groups are not the only ones to have been implicated in the terrorist plot. Recent video footage has also shown an unknowing Salen stating that his network is supported by one of the principal spokespeople for Venezuela's Roundtable of Democratic Unity Coalition and current mayor of Caracas, Antonio Ladesma. Just because a political figure is named in a video which we haven't seen, it doesn't incriminate him at all. So far, several men have been arrested in conjunction with the terrorist network, including student leader Josman Paredes, who last week appeared in a video stating that his armed group in the border state of Táchira had planned to carry out a psycho-terror campaign against the government. Because we have support from outside, suitcases, bombs. The government has stated that it will release more videos linked to the plot over the next few days. Rachel Boothroyd for Telesur in Caracas, Venezuela.